Hey guys, so here we have number three of four. So in this one, I'm going to show you how to use coloured acrylic as a full colour nail. So same as before and always, I am just creating a thin clear base on my nail. Uh, so I'm starting um, at that tip line, blending up and then pulling forward. I'm not too worried about the tip of this because obviously I'm going to be using a strength powder, but I am wanting to make sure that I get that nice blend near the natural nails free edge. Obviously your form should fit nice and snugly underneath, but you will always get just the tiniest little, um, not lip, but joint. So you want to make sure that's nice and smooth. Then I'm gonna make sure I get my clear acrylic on the uh, natural nail plate. Now, if you're using a cover pink, you don't really have to worry about this. Um, however, whenever I use colored acrylics, especially a red like this, make sure you get that clear base down because it can stain. So I'm gonna come in with a decent sized bead of that beautiful candy apple from CJD. I'm placing it on the nail and then I'm just pushing it back towards that cuticle area, getting that nice line by the cuticle. And now, as usual, I do kind of like little swipes sometimes at the sides and then I could tell straight away this bead wasn't gonna be enough for the whole nail, so I just swiped it down the nail. And then I'm gonna come in with a second bead and I'm going to put that in the middle of the nail because that's where uh, I needed to kind of swipe forward. So instead of putting near the tip and then blending up and then you end up with like a dip in the middle of your nail, I always put a second bead where the thickness is how I want it and then I can continue down the nail with that second bead. So as you can see, I'm just pat tap pulling it down the nail. I hope that makes sense. Sometimes I say things out loud and I'm like, did that, did that make sense? <laughs> I make a lot more sense when I'm like doodling on a whiteboard unfortunately. <laughs> I need to get a sideways view of this as well so that will make a lot more sense. And then I'm just going to pat, tap, make sure it's all nice and smooth. Again the idea is that I do as much as possible with my brush so that when it comes to filing it's just refining it. And it's as simple as that to use a coloured acrylic for a full colour nail. So I'm going to let that set, and then I'm going to file that in. So, same as always, side wall, side walls, free edge, a little underneathy, keep my file nice and straight, and then very gently around your cuticle area. I think this is where a lot of people struggle because you want to make sure that you're filing and smoothing it, but you're not taking it all away because obviously you've worked fully in colour so you want to make sure you still keep that nice line at the cuticle area so it was nice and gentle around that cuticle area and then I file my nail exactly the same as I always would so start on one side kind of moving down um, round the nail kind of round sweeping motions I don't know I really like to write a shot here Got a new camera set up so hopefully you guys are noticing a bit of a difference because now I've got my camera on like an arm so I can pull it around apart from now for some reason <laughs> let's just keep like barely in shot Lucy this, this yeah that will make people happy oh she's out of shot oh for god's sake <laughs> you just can't get the star can you there we go we're back we're back she's in the room Sometimes I would get really into like my filing and stuff and I forget I'm supposed to be making sure like other people can see what I'm doing. <laughs> there we go, and as always, making sure that it is the same thickness. So again, whether you work with design or full colour or glitter, or it's the same thickness. Um, now, a little note on using coloured acrylic. You can use it as full colour like this, especially if it's a strength powder. However, I personally prefer to nearly always use them as kind of design and then cap and clear. The main reason for that is it saves your coloured powders and obviously you can buy massive huge tubs of clear but most colour powders are sold in smaller pots so to make it a little more um, financially sensible, um, that's not the word I was looking for, I tend to use it as a design powder and then I'll cap it in clear. 
So I've applied a matte top coat to this nail and I'm going to remove that shiny, not shiny layer, the tacky layer. Now I'm going to do a bit of sand art here. So I'm getting out my Crystal Nails Royal Gel and then my Crystal Nails Barber 2 brush, which I haven't cleaned very properly since last using, which is why it takes me a little while to actually get on with the damn design. It's also a good idea just to let um, the uh, kind of alcohol dry off of the nail once you've used your cleanse to remove the tacky layer. When you're doing sand art, make sure you have thoroughly removed that tacky layer because if there's even just the tiniest bit around the side, the glitter or sand, like the um, sand that you use, will stick to it. So I'm starting by creating little kind of wisps. So I'm doing like commas, so placing my brush down and then a little comma to the side of the nail, slowly getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So you can do this design as small or as large as you like. Make it a little smaller at the top there. And do a little stem of the tree. Stem of the tree? Now oh, I can't even think of what the name is. Trunk. Trunk of the tree. <laughs> oh dear. It's been a long week. Popping a few little dots of gel on. And I'm going to get my dotting tool, which has a piercing tool at the end, so I'm going to point and then I'm going to come in and just kind of pull those dots out to create the stars. Just little four point stars. And then I'm going to get um, my holographic super fine glitter and my cuticle pusher. And then I'm just going to scoop up and push it down. Push it down. Sprinkle it on, tap away any excess. Make sure, as you've done a design to the edge, that you want to make sure it's fully covered in glitter. Put your lid on your gel, make sure that your gel brush has got its lid on too, and then I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds in the LED light. And then coming in with my little mini brush, brushing away that excess. So there we have a really simple but super cute little Christmassy design. So you've got your little Christmas tree in there. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed these videos. There's one more to come. Um, so yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed them. Questions, comments, feedback, just pop it below. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Bye.